Hello, thank you so much for your follow-up. We appreciate because it, if it were not you, we may not go where we are. But because of your commitment to follow us up and even to support us in various ways, and therefore we give thanks to you. Those who have not subscribed to our channel, it is YouTube, eh, that is YouTube, we are Baraka Tupu. On Facebook page, Baraka Tupu the same, and on Twitter, at Ben Kagame. Have you ever thought of life and its miseries, ups and downs? Have you ever thought of how you need to survive in this world for you to reach to your destination? Do you ever thought that God in his own wisdom can keep you aside for his own service and ministry? Did you even know that can, God even can take you through the hills and the valleys of dangers and protect you just for his own purpose? And I know those are some of the things that we go through in each and every aspect of our lives. Today in our studio, we have one of his own kind, one of his own story that we've never had anywhere. But today we have to bring it to you that you may enlighten and that you may get to know where and how to stand. So that at the end of the day, you may run to worship God for who he is and what he has done to us. Mr. Um, Daniel, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having us in our studio. It's very good to have you and uh, we appreciate. Thank you so much. Kindly unload to us who you are and where you hail from. Uh, Hotkins Daniel mm. is a, a man uh, born in Western, Western Kenya. Kenya right? Yes, mm. but I grew up like uh, other children. Mm. I went to school somewhere, but he short of uh, because of the, some problems. Mm. So I remain there. Mm -hmm. uh, so after that, when the school closed, we went to visit my grandfather's in Kakamega. Mm -hmm. Do you know those times the video was very something very special? Mm -hmm. People who were going there to watch mm -hmm. those in 1994. Mm -hmm. There, 1994. I was in the mm -hmm. age of 15, 15 mm -hmm. years now. Mm -hmm. Now. So we went to watch a video mm -hmm. and he, you know my grandfather, he was um, a tenant, mm -hmm. uh, he was having people there mm -hmm. and then he, we went there to watch video, me and some children. What kind of videos are you talking about? Because I believe in those ages, we, those times we have, we had people who were uh, giving services of the video in a marketplace. Yeah, it was in a marketplace mm. in Kakameka town. Ah, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it was not easy to get a video, even in our home base, mm -hmm. no one could afford to buy uh, to, to have those uh, videos. Mm -hmm. So it was on a marketplace mm -hmm. when the school closed, some people, they went there, you stay there to watching programs there mm. so there's a time i think we became familiar to mm. that video mm. so how we met with those people they mm. were planning because every times when they saw us mm. entering that video they have started to to, to plan mm. how they can get us mm. so there is a time we were eight of them mm. and you neighboring mm. so those people we were paying two shillings per one picture uh -huh. and then that's where they come to point us you 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 just come for us we'll come to see the next picture that's how we went and they gave us some small work mm. to to load the cartons in the truck so mm. we didn't even knew what was in those cartons mm -hmm. but after loading those cartons they gave us soda mm -hmm. fanda and chips mm -hmm. and that was the end ah, of the story okay. we didn't know it took us how many days you said you were in which class yeah, it was a standard too. All right, cast yeah, two, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how they give us the the chips and soda, mm -hmm. and that was the end. That was the end. Yeah, what do you for, mean with that? That was the end. We we find ourselves in the bush in in Goma, in the, in the rebels Wait, army. Those people who used to come and uh, show you videos, the one who gave you soldiers and chips, that became the end of you. Or they carried you with them. We went with them. We were eight. Okay. So we went with them. Mm. So, but the feet operators they remain. Mm. As we find ourselves with the other people, they have never seen, mm. even because they were army mm -hmm. already in the bush. Okay. But yeah, but the question was one. Mm. Do you know they was asking the question in English? Mm. Will you cooperate or not? Mm -hmm. And you know the, the army officers they are asking you that. Yes, and you because, were children. Yeah, we were children. Okay, and the younger one, mm. he was in the age of eight years. Mm. 
the big one was 16 mm. and Mina was closing 15 years mm. now mm. Does that? Mm. but you know the question was will you cooperate or not so those two the first one after he said no me i want to see i want i want my mother especially boys who, who wanted to see the mother you, the, the, no the, the small one the small one so you, you are eight boys yes na mlikuwa mnaona video yes sasa mume mume mumeenda na kina masojas or what did you mean yeah they get us they were mm. they went with us mm -hmm. from kakameka mm -hmm. to, up to goma Oh, Goma is in the is Congo. Oh, in Congo. Congo, one of the big forests. Ah, from Kakamega to yes, Congo. To Congo. So we don't know. It took us how many days to reach. In a Congo. truck. Yeah, in a truck. Uh -huh. But we were. We don't know because after eating those uh, chips and the, and, and, the, soda. and soda, mm. no one found, realized or oh, knowing anything what, right, what happened. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we slept. Mm -hmm. That's how we find ourselves in the in the bush. Mm -hmm. So. The younger one, they cut his hands and he bleed until he died. Mm -hmm. They asked the second one also, mm -hmm. will you cooperate? What, were they or rebels not? or were they army officers are, uh, within the government? Who were they? Those are rebels. Oh, rebels. Uh, okay. Lord and Stand mm -hmm. Army. Those are ah. rebels. Uh -huh. uh, the army of Kony. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. So they were recruiting the young boys. And so you were recruited. Yes. To Here be you are in Congo. Yes. Born in forest. Yes. All right. To be a uh, child soldier. Mm -hmm. Now after they remove the hands they of the, 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 the first the, one, uh -huh. the second one also, mm -hmm. he say, ah, I want to see my mother. And also they did the same. Mm -hmm. So me, I was the that one. You didn't want to see your mother? Ah, me, I said... You will cooperate. I will cooperate. Mm -hmm. That's how I stay spared. Okay. So the remain one, mm -hmm. they say, ah, we will cooperate. Mm -hmm. That's how now we start. Mm -hmm. The first assignment, I think it so was. So now you've been recruited in that rebel group. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you become to become a soldier ah. in in the rebels ah. because you don't know where you came from. Even if you you you, you escape, you don't know the direction. It is another country. You are young. You have never even crossed border to another country. Okay. Mm. So you're in Congo. In Congo. Mm -hmm. So how, how was the mission? How how did it how, how did it take place? Because now you're in Congo. Was there anything that you were to do, so that like like a training, or like how to operate, how to hand handle those equipment? Was there anything like that, or you were in the forest? You have to you had to follow what they were telling you. No, mm. the first assignments. Mm. It was to learn to be a chef. Okay. Yeah. To cook to in cook the bush. In the bush. Mm. To cook for them. Mm -hmm. And then the second assignment, mm. after after three months, mm. they trained me now how to treat somebody. And now I became the doctor. To become a doctor? Yeah, in the bush. It okay. took me like like eight months there. To be a doctor. To be a doctor now. Mm. And as now from there, uh, how, I was taken out to train to us. Treat as with what? With herbs, they know mm. they have everything. Okay, they have everything mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. It's just um, a small a container mm -hmm. in the bush. Uh, but you a know, it is, uh, it is underground. Sometimes oh, you find right. us okay. underground. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a place also open place. Mm -hmm. But you you don't mostly they used to to to, to hold like schools. Mm -hmm. They use as schools. Mm -hmm. As there, even if you go there, uh, somebody can think that this is one of the students there. Mm -hmm. But you are not a student. Okay. You are just there with a mission. Uh -huh. mm. So after that one... After eight were, months, now you are a doctor. I am a doctor. Mm -hmm. I was become a doctor. Mm -hmm. I went to train now the weapon now. First training was chef. Chef. The other one doctor, is doctor. Now... Then it's soldier. Okay. To become a I mean now. Mm -hmm. That's how my 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 journey mm -hmm. start from there mm -hmm. to become the child soldier. A child soldier yes. fighting grown ups. You fight a grown up, you don't know what is the cause, why those people are fighting, but you find yourself you are there. All right. So the mission was first to kidnap mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. You go, you can take some cows, their property by force, mm -hmm. and then if they. They will go to report somewhere mm -hmm. in a police station. In a police station, station you will. You, I mean, as a soldier, mm -hmm. we will return there to go there. Mm -hmm. 
So that's how you see most of the people, they don't have mouth, mm -hmm. others they don't have ears. Uh -huh. So if we, we, are, we, we kept if you the whole they village, your ear. We, will, we will come mm -hmm. with the powerful super cruise, mm -hmm. we put on your mouth, mm -hmm. and even there, the ears. ears. So you cannot hear you cannot anything, hear you anything cannot talk. talk. Unless it will be cut in mouth uh, or ears, yes, okay. so that we can hear. Hey. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the operations, mm -hmm. and then he, uh, going to to steal, to, to steal, steal people's property. Yes, and then to capture also the women's. Uh -huh. Now you find like me, I was having like seventy-eight wives. Hey, Do you know, in the age of seventeen, now mm. I was having seventy-eight wives there, uh -huh. and others were having like. You kidnap women from the village and you make them your wives. Yes, and then you you choose the what you want. Okay. And we we'll provide for them food because money there is no problem. Mm -hmm. Money is there. Money, food, yeah, stuff is... food, stuff is there. Uh -huh. You can go everywhere. You can do everything. So seventy-eight women at the age of seventeen years. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those are wives, mm -hmm. and then now do you know in the rebels the good things. What can make you to become a rebel is money, mm -hmm. freedom, mm -hmm. and wives. You can do anything women. you want. Yeah. The women that the things that rebels cannot even think. They cannot survive without women. They, and money. they, they cannot. Right. They cannot. Okay. And you know, mm -hmm. the place where there's rebels, mm -hmm. know that there was some cash. Mm -hmm. They have whatever they want. Where do they because get the cash from? without having money, mm -hmm. you can't be a rebel. Where do they get money from? We used to sell gold. Okay. Yeah. Gold. Yeah. We used to to sell gold mm -hmm. from Congo. There, there was a gold there. Mm -hmm. Now, for us ourselves, we our work was to go to dig the gold, mm -hmm. to arrange them. Mm -hmm. Connie, he went to sell in the other countries. Connie. Yeah. 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 That was the cash he is, where he's getting money. Okay. Uh, to buy mm -hmm. weapon mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Go on. And you know. Mm -hmm. You cannot be a rebel in your country mm. without having mm. another country supporting you. You cannot be a rebel in your country without another country supporting you. Yeah. Explain. You cannot because mm. sometimes you will need like equipment. Mm -hmm. You will need uh, technology. Mm. You will need a country where you will be selling mm -hmm. the things you steal. Mm -hmm. You will need a country where even you can escape to go there, run to go there for the medical. You mean if those rebels, even today, they have countries that they are supporting? They have their countries. There's no rebels in this world without outside a country supporting them. Okay. You cannot be. Right. Because a lot of things mm. you need to get from that country. Mm -hmm. They will supporting you. Mm -hmm. They will giving. Do you know in the rebels, mm. they don't have the company to manufacture the weapon. Mm. They must buy weapon from another country. Now, in this matter, which country was supporting you? Yeah, we, we have sometimes. Uh, uh, cannot measure here, but <laughs> <laughs> but but I know mm. I know the country that was supporting okay. because the, it is there mm. to get the mining. Mm. Do you know if the is it a, an African country that will support you or is it a Western country? Because uh, there must be a lot of questions here. It is not African Absolutely. country supporting because African country mm -hmm. we don't manufacture weapon. Okay, you, you, we don't manufacture mm -hmm. weapon. Mm -hmm. It's uh, those countries. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you cannot step on anything without having another country to support you. Okay. Because you will get weapon from there, mm -hmm. food from there, mm -hmm. medical from there, mm -hmm. and even also advisor from there. So they you, they they'll have to come to where you are, or you are going to. How do you how do you even communicate? How do you even get those equipment? Would they bring them through airport, or how did you to get those equipment? Country to countries, mm -hmm. and you know some weapons. Mm -hmm. Just they like do um, you know? Not all Red Cross, mm -hmm. they are using their work as a Red Cross. No, they are carrying oh. some weapons to take to those people. Do you know when two people they are fighting, even Red Cross, they used to favor special groups. You want to say special not groups. every Red Cross van is there for humanitarian services? No. They are also supporting uh, yeah, rebels? They have their sites. 
Ah, okay. uh, they have their side. All right. And those are the main mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. They can give this side drugs, mm -hmm. weapon, mm -hmm. food, and everything. Okay. Because it depends mm -hmm. with which who are you producing? Oh. If it, if you we are, we are, we are for example mm -hmm. we are a Kenyans mm -hmm. and there's something like in Mombasa mm -hmm. can it beneficial somebody in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Rwanda people now mm -hmm. Rwanda government mm -hmm. it must come to support those people who are mm -hmm. opposing the government ah. so that they can get those Whatever things easily ah, way right. yeah, without okay. no opposition okay. because when the country is stable mm -hmm. the government is stable. Mm -hmm. No freedom, there is no, no freedom, freedom of, 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 of movement of everything. Oh, right. Now you have to follow the procedure mm -hmm. of the government. Okay. But where there's rebels, mm -hmm. it means there's no mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. okay. Now these people, they will work hard mm -hmm. to see that even other, the country, the country who is beneficiary from the rebels, mm -hmm. it will make sure that putting or pressing no peace will get ah, in that, that country. Uh -huh. yeah. So here you are in Congo, mm -hmm. mining gold, Yes. With 78 women. Yeah. How is life there? No one could know even that this one's my wife. Mm -hmm. We used to keep them in their home place. But a few a few of them So you do not live together with them in the in the in the bush. They, will they live in their normal homes. Yes, because but they it, are your women. You yeah, you just go there uh -huh. as a thief also. Because those people they you those people, they can betray you. You oh. don't know if, if they have somebody already reported you mm -hmm. or not. Okay. Now you have to go there. So how do you... Uh, in you secret kill way. Husbands or how do you... No. Mm, mm -hmm. Our mission, if you find a good wife in the market, mm. you don't know her husband. Okay. You have to kidnap that one. Okay. Yeah. I go on. <laughs> life is in the... So the life in the bush mm -hmm. has become very hard mm. for the first one year. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy okay. because sometimes you find yourself you are sleeping on the trees. Mm -hmm. So you sleep in the bush. Mm -hmm. Now the hair is growing. You don't know who will shave even your hair. You don't know who will give you some clothes. The clothes was given. It's mm -hmm. now remaining those one. Mm -hmm. You are growing now big. Mm -hmm. This clothes now coming small. Mm -hmm. You have to survive. You have to survive on that side. Now the people you are living with them, the language barrier, because those are speaking French, and you are speaking Swahili, so the language you cannot communicate. Mm. So Sometimes sign language the becomes the signs, or you can go to car something you mm. want to give to the other person, mm. because you don't know how to communicate. Mm -hmm. But the life was hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, the time of uh, training, mm. gorilla, mm -hmm. is something scenario. Training what? Uh, to become a gorilla. Okay. Yeah, gorilla tactics is, is very is very tough war. It's one of oh, the tactics right. of the war. Mm -hmm. So we used to be a gorilla. Mm -hmm. We used to train to be as a gorilla. Mm -hmm. So gorilla, you stay in the tree, jump on tree. It's tough, tough training. Yeah, to try to become a gorilla is a tough training. It's very tough. Sometimes you don't understand. We used to read these things in novels and other literatures, but now here he is telling us more on how can you be living in jungles with 78 women at the age of 18. It is very ridiculous, but God has his own way and God has his own purpose to each and everyone who is existing in this world. Now, Mr. Hot Kid is here and, uh, and he is trying to uh, explain how life in the bush and as a fighter, not only a fighter, but a rebel in the bush. Mm -hmm. Yes, seventy-eight wives. Okay. Yeah. So life it was like that, mm -hmm. but after two years, mm -hmm. life became normal, and I came to love that life. After two years, mm -hmm. you are not I missing home. I adopted it now. You have adopted. Yes. Now you are ready to stay and live in the bush. Yeah, because I know there's no even one day I will be returning back at home. I don't have a passport. I don't have a direction. I don't know because this is now another country. I am moving from Central Africa to Congo. Did they change your name or are you still working or having your name? In do you know in the in in that uh, child soldier. Mm. That person, he gave us the new name. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. like me I was having mm-hmm. my another name in the bush okay uh, so we used to know there's a major also there that, are majors. yeah majors also mm-hmm. now we used to I was cooperating with the Congo mm-hmm. Central Africa and Uganda mm-hmm. Do you know side of Ndungamo mm-hmm. there Ndungamo yeah Ndungamo mm-hmm. that place was a very scenario it was very tough it's a place where those people destroy the the the, the whole village mm-hmm. because if you see everyone there is having no nose ears uh, destroying everything their property it's just killing people like you watch and then do you know what after we were given even the potty meats they give you like a when they give you food mm-hmm. with the meat mm-hmm. but around 8 pm mm-hmm. night mm-hmm. know that it, it, you are eating the human body huh? yeah when you eat meat after 8 pm yes that is normal meat that no, is not no, a normal no. meat you will find now human you are, beings you meat. are now finishing two fingers you have eaten the whole thumb you are now finishing like two fingers one fingers and who is giving meat. you this food those chef they are chef yeah. who are killing people instead of burying them yeah. they turn them to be your uh, your food yeah because there's no craft there's no craft in the rivers oh. oh, if you die yes. <laughs> if you die amongst yourselves <laughs> yeah. become their food their food hey mm, they will eat you okay now you see now the life become no more i say ah, let me now cooperate have nothing to do but you know i was moving with it New Testament Bible okay. because my father was a pastor. Mm-hmm. Your father was a pastor. Yes. And now, and now I was an active member uh-huh. in the Sunday school. All right. After being kidnapped now you see. Mm-hmm. You find yourself in another country mm-hmm. in the bush, mm-hmm. a place where there's no people. Even the water you are drinking there it is from river others not clear water. So those people they give you trucks and whatever drugs mm. so you have to use drugs they was telling me can you sleep on that a small rock can you put your head there if i put my head on that rock i found i hear the song singing mungu yu mwema haleluya mungu yu mwema it's a sound It's voice coming out yeah, from that from rock, rock. Uh-huh. yeah mm-hmm. so when i told them what i uh, i was hearing from the rock <laughs> they started beating me to give me another tracks to use because mm-hmm. they say my head is still not mm. with them mm-hmm. i am still thinking back so you had your bible with you yeah so okay. i was reading the bible mm-hmm. slowly 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 but i after three years i came to realize ah one day i will, I will go home that's how i was deported fr- tr- removed from congo mm-hmm. we went to another country as a school they dress as a school uniform mm-hmm. that's how we went there mm-hmm. i did in the, congo i did the science of weapon there the science of weapon yeah you were sent there by who rebels we were i was to go there because i became the maintenance of those weapons and you're talking of the weapons that was read by Connie. yes so i was to go there to train because i will be assembling the weapons and everything so that's how i stayed there for 18 months and it is in africa no <laughs> where did you go to train that <laughs> from because it, it, it uh, do you know we were i i was not alone you were, you not were alone. taken there like he, we were almost 17 on air Yeah, on air. We, those, we are always having a in teacher, a foreign country. A foreign country to train yes. how to operate and then, yeah. And then, say who who paid the school fees? Those are the work of rebels Sukoni. Mm-hmm. For us is to follow the instruction. <laughs> was having that teacher. <laughs> we went there as as we tracing school uniform. We were there just as a students. After I complete what I was uh, <laughs> going to do there, I was taken to 1998 Southern Sudan. Southern Sudan yes to kill to train some rebels there okay uh, because uh, my work now was to train mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. do you know in rebels i have never killed somebody okay i feared because my sunday school teacher mm-hmm. and my mother mm-hmm. 
used to tell you that killing is very bad. It's a yeah, sin. and if you kill somebody, God will never forgive you. Now here you are a rebel. What are you going to do? I, I, I was a rebel. But the time, even those people, they were raping women. Me, mm -hmm. I say, no, don't rape your mama, your mother. Mm -hmm. That's how they start now to turn against me. Ah. Because I was stopping them to do other oh, activities right. where they are willing mm -hmm. to do. So we start also fighting. South Sudan. Yeah, South Sudan, Congo. But the war was in Goma. Mm -hmm. We fight with the Goma people mm -hmm. because of the issue of raping women. Mm -hmm. And me, I say, no. Mm -hmm. Let us deal with it. Other things, but not of raping, raping women, mm -hmm. because this is our mother, mm -hmm. it's our sister. Mm -hmm. So I was become a commander, controlling. I started controlling that seven soldiers, thirty-seven soldiers, soldiers mm -hmm. up to three hundred. A commander. Yes, that's you yeah, yourself. I became the commander mm -hmm. after returning back. Mm -hmm. I become a commander. Mm -hmm. So my with full uniform. Yeah, but do you know rebels? We have every type of uniform there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no unique uniform. Do, do, you, do you dress according to the to the to the country where you were sent to go, or what, how did you even get to that? In in, in rebels, it depends with the uniform you are dressing. If you mm -hmm. are you are from Congo, mm -hmm. you will dress as a, those Congolese army. They mm -hmm. are clean. Mm -hmm. plain. Mm -hmm. If you are in Uganda, mm -hmm. you can they can give you different trousers. Mm -hmm. Different Chat. jackets, mm -hmm. and then now, even Kenyan uniform is mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. In Ripa, there was every type of army uniform is mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Nothing is missing there. So in South Sudan, South Sudan I was there. After train some, a few people there, they turn also to start mm -hmm. to think how to kill me. Oh, okay. That's how I plan to to escape. To quit. Uh, yeah. right. But 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 I hold one woman mm -hmm. hostage. Mm -hmm. I say if you try to 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 to, to tell people mm -hmm. that I am here with you, me I will kill you. Do you know you push that woman mm -hmm. and then he helped me to, to escape. Mm -hmm. oh. She's the one who went to organize the ambulance. All right. That lady is the one who helped you to escape. Yes. Using an ambulance. Yeah, ambulance. Uh, because I was having Money for me, it was not a problem mm -hmm. because I was moving in dollars. Mm -hmm. So I paid that woman. She mm -hmm. went to organize for me uh, the ambulance. Mm -hmm. So I company? the same same Red Cross. You know Red Cross mm -hmm. is there, uh -huh. but there's another heightened business. Ah, all right. So that's how I was helped by mm -hmm. that, that one. Mm -hmm. And uh, my aim was to return in Congo, mm -hmm. Congo, because I don't know anything about Kenya. Uh -huh. So you wanted to go back to, to Congo, Congo, to right. the bush. Mm -hmm. So instead, where did you find yourself in? I yeah, I said now, say let me be a bushman. That's mm -hmm. how I become a bushman. Mm -hmm. But one day, mm -hmm. I tried to escape. Another. Again. Yes. After escaping from South Sudan. Yeah. Now, now trying to escape now from from Congo, from Congo mm -hmm. to come in Uganda to mm -hmm. see if I can can come in Uganda and get into or to see somebody like he, uh, a civilian, somebody who is mm -hmm. not a rebel, mm -hmm. to share with the them if I can get them or one of them to mm -hmm. share my story mm -hmm. to see how they can help me. Mm -hmm. 